Hello, you absolute legends. Welcome back to the channel. John here on a beautiful day in Lincolnshire. Today, we are at Grimsthorpe Castle, just outside Bourne in Lincolnshire, where quite possibly one of the biggest car shows ever is going to be held. It is the Haggerty Festival of the Unexceptional, the 10th anniversary. Behind me, in around about an hour's time, are gonna be over 1,500 unexceptional cars, including modern parking and the concourse, 1,869 cars are registered. It's going to be a busy day. It's the Festival of the Unexceptional 2024. Let's go. Ah, hello. Hello. Uh, we're at the Festival of the Unexceptional. You found your pick of the show. I'm going to see dun, 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 dun. I'm off. T-Reg Peugeot 406 Estate. Have a look at that. Let's take a look around that. Now, what colour green is that, though? Isn't it lovely? <laughs> Isn't it lovely indeed? Uh, talk us through it. The V6, this is obviously a lot posher than yours. <laughs> it's not been used as a van like yourself. We've got some fantastic leather interior in there. Take a look at that and it is absolutely lovely that, isn't it? It's not been used and abused. Find me another one like that. They've been a bit rough putting the stuff in there. Yeah, well, someone's been fishing, haven't they? Oh, no, it's missing its rear badge. We need to find a rear Peugeot badge for it. Oh, yes, to stick them we, together. We can find you, one of them. Your mum painted mine up for me. Not a problem at all. Look how tidy it is around here. Yeah. Do you think it's had the arches and the sills no, done? No, it's still got the little sticker on. Oh, there you go. Fantastic. That's it. We don't need to look at any more cars then, do we? Car of the show. Isn't it lovely? <laughs> Isn't it lovely? It really is. You've got to spend a lot of time doing something as good as that, haven't you? So we've had a wander around the Concourse de l'Ordinaire. Dad's picked his favourite, and if you haven't seen that video, then I suggest you check that out uh, on the channel. But now it is time for us to have a wander around the other, I don't know, thousand cars here today at the show. Um, there's people on the stage at the moment. We're not going to have a look around every single car. We're going to pick uh, top favourite ones, aren't we? And do a little, I don't know. Yeah, when we get as far as our car, we'll stop for a tea break. Oh yeah, we'll have a tea break halfway through. So in this video then, Dad and I are going to have a wander around the festival of the Unexceptional to bring you our highlights. So not every single car, but our highlights from the festival of the Unexceptional 2024. So Dad spotted his first car of the day, which is... Oh, hang on a minute, it's a Rover 75 Estate. You thought it was going to be the Hillman Avenger. No, no we're going to that. It's the uh, 75 Estate. It's been, uh, it's been done at the back there, hasn't it? It's, no. the, it's not had the sills done. No, not yet. Not yet. Uh, lovely connoisseur, do you reckon, with this trim? You know all about Something roses. like that, all the SE, one of the two. Uh, lovely, you don't see many of them nowadays, especially on the 03 plate. This is just before the facelift, isn't it? So, uh, post-project drive, but pre-facelift. Nice roof bars, I like that. I know someone that's got some original Rover 75 roof bars. I need to... Yeah, you want to take them over, so I chuck them in the bin. <laughs> Ooh, don't touch that one. I know someone that could... Uh... <laughs> Yours didn't look as bad as that and I put my finger through no, it. No, exactly. I know someone that could uh, do some work on that. Anyway, we move on to Johnny's this still thing. using one of these. Yeah. Who? My mate Shane. Nice. He still uses his. The Toyota Hi Ace, good stuff, but. It puts mopeds in the back. I'm guessing we're not looking at the Hi Ace, we're looking yeah, we at. Oh, I thought we were looking at the uh, Hillman Avenger GT. Yeah, Shane puts mopeds in the back of his. Yeah, we're going to look at this as well. I wonder what went wrong with it. Yeah, so this actually arrived at the festival on, um, on a trailer, didn't it? And it was driven in. But the, uh, the owner did say. Well, it probably wouldn't get all the way here, so they've, uh, they've trailered it in. Are you not, not as excited because it's been trailered in? I wish it was mine. <laughs> but in grasshopper green? No, that'll do. Yeah, I wish it was mine. Good but stuff. But it ain't got rust hole wheels on there. Yeah, proper 70s. Yeah. But you like this? Yeah. Onwards and upwards, more please. Uh oh, Dad spotted something. What he spotted? Oh, I know what he's going to stomp for. Hang on a minute, you're missing all these beautiful Peugeots out. Oh, right, you've seen a Daimler. Talk to me. It is gorgeous, isn't it? 4.2 litre Sovereign. 
This certainly is exceptional, isn't it? As opposed to unexceptional. I just enjoy working on these. What is it? Talk us through it. Uh, it's a 4.2 Jag, really, but with Daimler grills and stuff on it. It is a beautiful thing, isn't it? Series 1 as well. Series 1, yeah. Uh, rare? No, I wouldn't have thought so. Expensive? Yeah. <laughs> so I'm not going to be buying you on with YouTube revenue this no, month? No, because you, you, do, you do need a ramp or a pit to work on Do them. you? Well, you better get, you better get a dig in then, you mate. Need, you need a ramp or a pit just to change the rear brake pads. Oh, right, OK. Why is that? Because it's so low? Or? Inboard. Sir? They're inboard. Ah. You need to get somewhere like that, then you can get your hand over the top all take in, the handbrake all inside. Off. OK, I'm going to have to go look at it, I'm afraid, because you are in love with this white beauty yeah. and i can see at the end of the row it's another white beauty it is a proton aero back let's have a look at that 1993 k reg 1.5 aero back automatic as well and it's had a little bit of a knock at the front i've actually spoken to the owner i've got some parts for him he's got some uh, later wheel trims it should have the three spoke 1.5 sl wheel trims on there Velour interior though, brown interior as well, which is interesting. Let's take a look at this. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's a lovely, honest, daily car, isn't it? For it's not somebody fast there. as bad as I thought it was. No, it no, it did have a, a, a crash. And I've, as I say, I've spoken to the owner and it, uh, it, I suppose the, the, the person was coming round the corner too quick and smacked it. Um, which is a massive shame, but we're going to supply him with some new parts. It's a plastic bumper job. Sorry? It's a plastic bumper. Cam. Yeah, it's a plastic bumper edition because it's a 93. The sunroof, well... His wiper linkages are worn out. It has been um, has been touched up. And yeah, as you say, the wiper linkages are worn out because they're touching the bonnet there. But yeah. oh, what a lovely, honest car, though. Nice to see that it's still on the road and we actually it belongs... one that was spoiled at the import centre. Yes. Yes. Uh, it was uh, the owner's mother's car, so nice to see that he's keeping it on the road. We're going to send him some parts, aren't we? Yes, his wiper linkage is really worn out. Well, we've got some wiper linkage for you as well, then. But, uh, yeah, I had to go and have a look at that. That's one that I hadn't actually seen in the flesh until recently. We're having to have a look at this, which is a uh, 1.9 TDI A4 Auto. It is quite a top spec model, this one. Tiny, yeah. especially <laughs> well with after, isn't it? the yeah, yeah, with the sunroof. Uh, for some reason, there's an Aston Martin here. What you found there? This Citroen. Honest. I like that. <laughs> Why don't you want to uh, have a take a look, look at this Talbot Samba? Yeah, I was working on them. Back in the uh, 80s, this one. They were this one. cheap as chips. Really? How much would one of these cost me in 1984? Well, they, they, didn't have, they didn't have radios when we got them. What, at all? So it was purely... A car. A, a car when you when they used to come into yeah. so your garage, and then you'd fit the aftermarket accessories, I'm guessing. Yeah, oh, someone's fitted a stereo, look. And this is a more better upmarket model. Well, yeah, it? this certainly is, isn't it? Did you sell many with the convertible no. sort of roof? But it's an absolute survivor, that, isn't it? A little saloon was cheap as chips. People, you know, rather than buy a second-hand car, they bought a new one of them. I want to just show you around this, which I think is a lovely survivor. A uh, Hyundai Sonata. This a left-hand drive. It is a beautiful thing, this. 16-valve. Nice thing that survived. GLS trim, but you don't see many of them nowadays. What did you, you say? Into the Hyundai garage and asked for parts for that. Do you think they'd have them? I don't think our local Reed Hyundai, no, would have uh, parts for the Sonata. I do love a Twingo. I do love a Mark 1 Twingo. I do love the fact that they are all left-hand drive. Uh, yeah, good little thing. Especially the uh, period correct alloy wheels. Awesome. Hmm, nice. So here's something I've never seen before. A Wedgwood Blue Rover 45. This one from the Isle of Man. Um, I'm guessing you've seen a Wedgwood Blue 45 before in your lifetime? Probably, yeah. Uh, I can't really place the year. It's obviously... I've never seen the Isle of Man. Isle of Man. Uh, so it's pre-facelift, of course. Is it pre-Project Drive? Oh, no, Project Drive. Just some of you classic car men invented. <laughs> I think it is pre-Project Drive, owing to the fact that it's got these badges here. Let's take a look at the headrests. Mm, maybe not. 
It is a high model, that, with the chrome caps. Oh, this is a lovely Audi 100. In fact, it's for sale if you fancy it here. Uh, no price, though. Now, I'm not sure if I'm more jealous of the Daihatsu applause or the fantastic picnic that's going on here. What a wonderful thing. Uh, one, uh, 16XI. Excellent. Is it, can I have a look? Is that okay? Ah, hopefully they've not left any snacks in here or they'll be disappearing as well. So look at this velour interior in here. Actually, it's like a cloth interior, isn't it? That is beautiful. What a fantastic day out in that. And there's loads of Daihatsu tat in the back as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know that other day when we went out in my Peugeot? Yeah. And two people tried to force me off the road? Yeah. Do you think they'd done it if I'd been driving that? No, probably not. <laughs> no. Or would I have been inclined just to keep going just, and just flat? I think them? you'd have just smashed into them, wouldn't you? <laughs> just and went, like a gnat running off you. Oh, did, did you hit me? I didn't notice. <laughs> Uh, talking of did you hit me, this morning I nearly had a heart attack in that you um, crashed into local wildlife, my 1.5 no, SE, the wildlife, wildlife Proton. crashed into me. You hit a pigeon and actually I was terrified that you smashed he was, he the windscreen. He was in movement when he hit me. Yeah, he there was feathers stationary. everywhere. He wasn't stationary. Um, is Dave okay? Is Dave the pigeon okay? I think so, yes. Oh, good, good, good. Uh, but thankfully, no damage to the Proton this morning. Joking apart. That's, that suits my ethos of motoring, that does, doesn't it? What's that? Well, it moves. <laughs> Let's not worry about what it looks like too much. Get out of the way. You've never seen one of these, right? A Nissan PAO or PAL. The interior reminds me of the Figaro. Yeah, it's, I think it is K11 running gear. Uh, let's have a quick look underneath. And yeah, the there. interior reminds me of Figaro when I see it. They're all of the same sort of era, like. aren't they? You like it? Yeah. Yeah, F-Reg. Might not be a K11, might be a K10 underneath, but certainly I, like, I believe. I like the creases in the panel work. It reminds me of Citroen's. Yeah, and it's also a little bit like the old um, S car go. Yeah, based on the K10. Sort of You're a fan? Yeah. It's hinges on it. What's that? It's got hinges like it was on a gate. I've tried to pull you away from the Nissan PAO and you're not, not coming away from it. You like that? I like that. It's got a <laughs> shroud over the gate hinge. <laughs> yeah. Come on, because all we need to have a look at is this. A Fiat Multipler. Aye, if you I'm, think this end's ugly, you should see the other end. One of them. Possibly one of my favourite cars I've seen today so far. The Fiat Multipler. This chap's uh, fair lady had a bag over her head on the way in and actually if you have a have a look in here what a beautiful thing i do love the multiplers i um i would love one of these it's on my list of things to own in the future is it regular that people give their cars names yeah hmm. why well it's just a machine isn't it <laughs> You, you give your dog a name because it's it, it, when you pat it, it looks at you. Well, sorry, hang on a minute. Why, where have you got that from? Well, it's that one's called Molly. Molly the what? The Molly the Multipler. Oh right. Okay. Oh Molly the Multipler. Okay. Yeah. I just that baffled you, has it? Yeah, because they're just machines, aren't they? <laughs> they're not living organisms. But they are part of people's families. Oh right. I understand. Daz found a 1.3 Super LX Micro. This I can't is not look at a Micro. Quite mate. a rare beast, you know. And you can with a Nissan. Uh, this is a pre-facelift edition. 16 valve, of course. It's had a bit of TLC, had a bit of modification, but it is a rare old beast. Nice, thumbs up for a Micro. Oh, I've, got to, I've got to have a look at this centre. Dad spotted a console Cortina 1200 Deluxe. It's a Mark 1 Cortina. It is. 35,000 miles. <laughs> That's fantastic, isn't it? That's got a thumbs up. Stick the inspector in the back. Stick Mrs John Cooper in the back and away we go. Don't <laughs> think your mum would like that, do you? <laughs> ah, Dad's making a beeline for something. What have you seen now? What have you found? Aha, Peugeot 305. GR E Reg, excellent. 
Is that uh, no, getting your seal I was of approval? Working on these in this era. Good cars they was. Excellent. Oh, that's me having a go at some bodywork. Yeah. Bless it. It's had a, it's a little bit of a. At least it's got it on the road. Needs some TLC. In fact, could it be fire damaged? Does it look fire damaged? No. Just uh, looks like someone has run, run around here with something uh, run aboard. <laughs> Just run aboard something. Well, someone's clearly put some uh, mirrors on their K10 Micro on the uh, oh. on the bonnet. Not a, sort of not a fan. Well, is it is it not a UK spec car? Uh, I think they've put some Jap spec. Oh right. Bits and pieces on there. I'm not an expert to be honest with you, but. Yeah. yeah, it's it's yeah. it's a UK yeah. spec car that someone's popped some Jap stuff on because well, how can we tell? There's some UK. Can't say, can't say it's really improved, it is it? No, um, it's two uh, each two of their own. But I tell you what, I am I'm not an expert at that, but I tell you what, I am an expert in 1.5 GL Proton triple valve Iswara, Elridge 1993. This is obviously Steph's, um, and uh, she's had. A little bit of an issue with it recently. It is her daily driver, and she's been doing all sorts of bits and pieces with it. Uh, I think we what did we send Steph? We sent Steph a distributor. We sent Steph a throttle body. We sent Steph all sorts of bits and pieces, and it still, well, sadly, didn't fix it. But um, I think it's all up and running now. Timing belt issue, maybe, and some valve issues. Uh, there is a video coming on Steph's channel about the car, where. Um, well, uh, she, she drove it here faster discuss. than we did. Yeah, she's got flies on the front. Yes, yeah, she has got flies all on the front. Yeah, and we've certainly uh, not got flies. But it's good to see that Steph's managed to um, uh, revive that. I like the thought of a big people carrier sometimes. Yeah. Just tip the seats down and put the put stuff, stuff in. in. This Toyota Previa, I do like these. My friend had one of these when we were kids. And, uh, you get a lot of stuff in that, wouldn't you? We used to just jump through the back. Ah, oh, Suzuki wagon let's, R. Let's measure the stuff car. Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, okay. Stuff capability. Go on then, measure it out. One, One, two, three paces for stuff. Can we'll you get see. a scaffold board in there? <laughs> Probably. But talking about uh, great stuff, stop, don't walk past it. Suzuki yeah. Wagon R. Uh, now it's got a VXR badge on the back. Oh, um, probably it's a um, tuned version. I'm right? not sure if it Special is tune. a VXR, but it is certainly a Suzuki Wagon R. And actually, actually, it is in van mode. It's in stuff mode. Uh, I do love a good old Suzuki Wagon R. Uh, my bad. auntie had one, didn't she? She did, yeah. For a long time, and uh, well, I think she traded it in for two hundred and something quid, but. These, this is the sort of thing that will all disappear. Soon, will, soon. People have not valued them and they'll just they'll disappear and then they'll and become Ules. rare. Ules is going to kill them. Well, Isn't it? A little bit Les. He's not, he's not called Les, is he? He's called Mr. Khan, I think. Oh, yeah, well, there you go. Yeah, you, Les. Thanks, Mr. Khan. Boo. Thumbs down. Thumbs down for you, Les. We've got to look at it. It is this L Reg oh. Micra. Um, which is from the Nissan Heritage Fleet. It's been brought by uh, one of the journalists, L Spec, and it is, I think it's done 11,000 miles from new, something like that, and it is uh, a beautiful thing, pre-facelift. What a fantastic little machine. It's strange how the handles have all deteriorated. So yeah, it's not on the a, inside? It's not been out in the sunshine that does it, is yeah, it? Yeah, no, it's exactly. old age. And next to it, £650 bargain, uh, Paul Cowland's Ford uh, LX Fiesta. He's bought it for his daughter, actually, hasn't he? Yeah. Uh, it needs a little bit of uh, TLC, but came through the Manor Park Classic uh, auction. 650 quid. What a bargain. It's a lovely colour as well, isn't it? It's like yeah. a pearlescent purple. It's Absolutely nice, fantastic. It's a nice little car. Inca Yellow Spitfire 1500, though. Nice. Thanks. Yes, these will all soon be dead. You don't see many of these. Every, hang on a minute. That's a big old thing for the Festival of the Unexceptional, isn't it? Aye. Maybe not the ethos of the show. No, this is. This is a Renault 4. It's beautiful. It is lovely and all. Land Rover interior bonus. Land Rover interior bonus. What are you spotted? 405. Ah. Peugeot, 405 estate? Yeah. Yeah, nice. 
We are as part of the winner's circle, I suppose, or the winner's four, uh, including the winner from 2014, uh, Eddie Ratley's Datsun Cherry Europe. Uh, Eddie also has a um, Mitsubishi Galant that I'm a big fan of. Uh, winner of 2017, Mark Ashbridge's Datsun Sunny GL from 1983. There is uh, the Proton Saga no, Black Knight. Why didn't bring your trophy on, John Boy? I, Well, I couldn't get it out of the blooming cupboard. It was. Uh, well, it's, it's not on the mantelpiece then for I, everyone to see. No, no, surprisingly. This is John Cooper. John Cooper put it doesn't, in the let, doesn't allow it on the mantelpiece. She's put it in the flipping cupboard. Uh, here it is, winner of 2021, the Proton Black Knight, 1989. Everyone else has brought their cups. Yeah, all right, all right. Uh, is, that, and, uh, is that the feather? That... Yeah, it is. There's a feather on the floor from where we, we hit a pigeon this morning. Um, and uh, Sam's. Uh, Vauxhall Astra Merit from 1994, winner of 2022. He's, he has finally stopped polishing it, yeah. Good. Should we get some lunch while we're here? That sounds like the best idea I've heard for a long while. Lunchtime. So we are actually also based by the Sustain uh, Fuels stand because we are being sponsored today by Sustain Classic Sustainable Fuels. The Proton 1.5 SE is being powered by it. Uh, and thanks to the team there for sponsoring the festival in Exceptional and the work that we're doing as well. So a uh, big shout out to them. Uh, we found some deck chairs. I'm not sure if this is rated for um, John Coupland weight. Tell you what, <laughs> I'll just get those two people to stand on it. And, <laughs> Let's see. Excuse me. Would you mind? Yes, this could go wrong. Oh, I've just had some dinner. How was that? Excellent. <laughs> It uh, turned into a long lunch because we met lots of different yeah, people who wanted to speak people. to us. Uh, there is the white SE, and uh, we're on the way to look for some more cars at the Festival of the Unexceptional. Sounds good. Smart 4-2 spotted. Smart 4-2 right. spotted. <laughs> Let's go have a look at this. Oh, it's got some crazy smart alloys on, so it must be a Pure or a Pulse or something like that. A Pure, it is a Pure. Oh, it's got wonderful seats. The seats are in really good nick. There, aren't they? Look at that. That's had a good old clean, I think. Look at that. So it is uh, a turbo. Oh, someone shrunk the number plate on the front there, look. Oh, it's great, though. Oh, probably it was a bigger car and everything's shrunk in relationship. <laughs> I love that it's got the original uh, Steelys with the centre caps. Real base model, this. Oh, 85,000 miles. I wonder if it's had the engine rebuilt. I would have thought so, wouldn't you? It's about that's the mileage they happen. That's awesome to see. Great. I never thought I'd be saying this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go look at this Audi A2. Why not? Which are becoming a fast appreciating classic and they are disappearing off our roads. They remind me of sort of a squat, big, Smart car, which follows on nicely from the smart that we've just looked at. I think the out the Mercedes A class obviously is the uh, bigger smart, yeah. but you don't see these A2s anymore. And well, I think it's now is the time to save an A2. Skoda Felicia Fun, get in the back there, get Mrs. John Coopman in the back there, get the inspector in the back, and away we go. I believe they were all yellow. Excellent. Stay away, stay away from the sills on this Rover 75 V6. It's uh, got some uh, chrome skull caps, which means it's probably a Connie or an SE model. Wood steering as well. Not a fan? Can you see? Nats. A yeah, drone. Nat. I think someone's got a drone up in the sky. Yeah, a big gnat. Large engine spotted. The best thing about a TR7 interior, that. Larder on the move. Larder 4x4 on it the move. It almost sounded a bit like an Armstrong Siddeley coming it, up behind us. It did. Here's something that's quite rare and vastly disappearing off the world. Toyota Carina Mark II, this is the XL Windsor. I'm guessing Windsor is the garage that supplied it. It's got BBS alloy wheels, but what a thing. And now to see two Nissan Micras. One, 
A beautiful purple pre-face lift. <laughs> no. And two. i not, mate. I mean, and this worst Sam job I've ever had. <laughs> what are you doing, ruining my commentary? Just, just discussing it's the worst job I've ever had. <laughs> Working for you. Yeah, apologies. <laughs> yeah. Step away from the purple micro, please. <laughs> Step away That's from the you. purple micro. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it He's lovely? He's going to be looking at sills. Stop looking at sills. No, she's not. Isn't this a lovely CVT Auto pre facelift? P Reg 96. What do you reckon? Well, it's had a lot of work done, hasn't it? <laughs> but it's a lovely old thing. And talking of lovely old things, here's a China Blue, a 51 plate. Oh, crikey, Charlie. Um, this is nice. Uh, also, um, it's going to be a Micra S. What's the mileage on it? 53,000 miles on there. Yeah, I told you, a Micra S. What do you think to that? <laughs> thumbs up for a micro. All the micros are getting all the thumbs up today. I've spotted a intruder in the Festival of the Unexceptional Camp. Oh, yeah. This uh, very late 55 plate Rover 45, <coughs> which has it got a pink sticker of shame? How did you get through without the uh, pink, pink sticker? sticker of shame was <coughs> cars that are post 2004 being turned away. Uh, no, oh, it has not. A sport modification. Oh, wow. Also, Put the kettle on. Uh, I do like the Rover 45. I do not like the Rover 45 facelift. What is that? What is that? Sport. Mate. Nice to see though, nice to see that it's a survivor because they will all be dead. I'm guessing there's a lot less of the later ones than there are yeah, so. of the earlier ones. I like the uh, Strut brace. Yes, yeah, sports modifications, mate. And it's actually had, look, a case. Ooh, ooh. Mapped ECU. Mapped ECU. Hey, imagine if we got a K mapped ECU for the Rover 75. Mm. I could get 60 miles an hour out of it. Mm. Are, you, um, are you not offering while you wait head no. gasket services oh, today? Here. Have you found a I see you baby? Yeah. Yeah. yeah there's not many of these living there here. It is. Shaking that ass. The electrical faults have killed them. <laughs> Do you like electrical faults, sir? Well, I wouldn't mind if I... Goodbye, Micra. I wouldn't mind if I was still working on them because I should have put it on the older uh, clip machine, but... Uh, I like these. Yeah, but you, 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 you... Tell me how often you see them now. A lot yeah. of them are dead. Well, they shouldn't be. Oh no. <laughs> Talking of things that shouldn't be dead but are uh, but should be dead. <laughs> da, 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 da. A Renault Velsatis. Yes. What was you saying about electrical faults? A Renault Velcrapis. I think one day I'm going to turn up home with one of those. Because I think they are brilliant. Well, you better get yourself a new mechanic. Thumbs up for a Renault Velsatis, please. <laughs> I found myself drawn to another K11 Micra, this time a high-spec edition. And actually, we look, looked at this one on the way in. We think that this is a daily driver. Uh, it is a Tempest edition. Uh, it's got the same sort of rumble strip side effects as the, uh, the K11 Sport, but no spoiler, no boot spoiler. Uh, it is a manual, not a CVT auto. Looking good. Tempest? Tempest Micra? Not interested. Bonus Nissan Primera SE Plus interior content. Quite exceptional. Lancia Delta Integrale. Yes, please. Car looks good. What's that? There's a box on the DAF. Nivea anti-aging cream. <laughs> you smear it on your Mini and it looks like it did when it left the factory in 1974. That's a lie. Now I'm seeing a pre-facelift 75 Connoisseur SE, yeah. and I'm seeing a post-facelift V6. Oh yeah, which is the best look? God dear. Hey? <laughs> it's, it's amazing, isn't it, when you put them side by side, just, just how ugly the facelift really yeah. is. This is a beautiful car as well, isn't it? In, the, uh, in like a maroon color. I like that on the dash there. Good, that's good. I like that a lot. And it's got the lovely plum interior and pre-project drive, pre-project drive. There's some nice uh, Stop Rover. Stop talking about project drive. It There's some exist. nice Rover taps there. Got some, it's got some period fag burns there. <laughs> it has. Yes, it has. Now to um, 
to compare it to the uh, facelift edition. Yeah. Horrible, terrible. Get out. Uh, what is this? In fact, it's well. It's a it's an early facelift. It's not a late facelift. I don't know what they're thinking. Uh, well, trying to make everything more stylish, but I don't know what they were thinking. Lots of different things. Well, it's a cost-cutting exercise as well. Do you want a badge? No, we won't have a badge. That costs five pounds. <laughs> what were they thinking? I'm trying to make it look like one of them big. What do they call them? Chevrolet. Yeah, them Chrysler. Big? Chryslers. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What do you found now? Lovely little thing. Ah, what the Pinafara two hundred five CTI Cabriolet. It's a fun little thing. Been converted into a shed. <laughs> Proton spotted. Oh, and it's got alloys on. Mmm, yes. Would it be wrong, would you disown me if I came home with a Rover Streetwise? Oh, you found a Suzuki Alto instead. I found something here that if you squint really hard could be a Proton, but it isn't. It is, in course, uh, a Mitsubishi Colt. But hang on a minute, the dash looks like it's from a Proton. Well, again, reused Mitsubishi parts. Uh, this is rare, isn't it? Super rare. What a beautiful thing. Proton spotted! <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> Proton! <laughs> Here's something I never thought I'd be saying at the Festival of the Unexceptional. What a lovely Volkswagen oh, Lupo. Shinbo had one, didn't it? Yeah, it's the uh, open, sunshiny roof ragtop edition. But this is beautiful. It's in such good condition. The interior is immaculate. And really is a survivor, that, actually, isn't it? It's lovely, mate. It's... It's a lovely car, isn't it lovely? But I never thought I'd be saying that about a uh, Volkswagen Lupo today. Maybe you don't see him there, do you? Ah, here's one that's taken Dad's uh, fancy. It's an Austin, what is it? 1300 Super. It's Allegro. Allegro. Allegro Estate. Ta-da! Brown-tastic. What's the colour? Well. Is it Harvest Gold? I don't think it's Harvest Gold, I can't remember now. <laughs> yeah. You've got lots of room to, to work in there. Do you want to change the water pump, mate? <laughs> change the water pump. There you go. There's the water pump. Isn't it lovely? Isn't it lovely? You like these, don't you? Because I suppose you spent a lot of time working on them. I did. In your, uh, in your trade. You can sort of do stuff. Well, you could take the engine out and just lay it here. There's enough room. <laughs> Tip the engine on its side. No, I was, I was always taking the engines out. They needed to come out regularly. What have you spotted? We've got an electrical fault because they took the battery leads off for some reason. Yeah. The, uh, and the lid's off the fuse box. Yes. It does stuff. Electrical fault spotted. It, it might have been. Perodua. Let's oh. go and look at this. We have found a Perodua Kalisa at the Festival of Exceptional, and this lady here is super proud of her Kalisa and her uh. Malaysian car. Uh, awesome. Wow, look at this. This is a super high spec uh, edition as well. LXI? Um, I think it's just a GX. Oh, a GX. GX um, 31,284 miles. But we've even got a pop-up sunroof. I'm guessing it's... Oh, it is It is glass. It's not a Perspex sunroof. Aha! Coin holder. Lovely. What a beautiful, beautiful thing. This, quite an early Kalisa. It's actually a Daihatsu underneath, as you know. 04, the one we had was a 57 plate. And this lady's quite handily popped the bonnet for me, so I can have a look. There we go, we can have a look at the one litre power train under here. <laughs> Ta-da! Malaysia's finest. Twin cam. Twin cam. Power! Here's Liz, who is the owner of the uh, Project Kalisa. Jill, tell me about your Kalisa, Liz. Um, so I was looking for a car to do my daily commuting because um, most of my dailies are 306s, Peugeot 306s. 
um, but people ignore them and drive into them quite often, which upsets me. So I wanted to find something that um, I sort of didn't care about, but was cheap, reliable yeah. and um, easy to, to get to work in. Um, and I found this, um, but since owning it, um, I've completely fallen in love with it. I so, don't blame you. Um, what a beautiful little thing. It's wonderful. Um, I can't believe how feisty it is. Excellent. Um, for what it is, it's made out of bean cans, but that's good because it's light. Um, it's got everything I need. It turns on the sixpence. It's brilliant. Lovely. Thanks for talking to us, Liz. Thanks I wish you many uh, years of Malaysian trouble-free motoring with this Kalisa. Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you just met some fans. Well, they don't know. I look. Yeah, just come up and just talking to us. Was I was right talking there. to Liz about her. <laughs> I was talking to somebody. He was having a chat. Uh, Citroen Visa 14 TRS. This is a lovely thing, isn't it? What a lovely colour as well. What a fantastic machine. It is all right, isn't it? And hey? behind you is a monogram MG Z. I see how good this is, though. Well, joking apart. Yeah. 1985. Yeah. It's very original, isn't it? It's been looked after and tidied up. Let's go oh, and look at this, this monogram then. Huh? No, don't look what's at this? that. What is That's it? That's far too nice for here. Let's go look at this monogram MGZ. Oh, it's one of them funny Italian things. Funny Italian things. <laughs> oh, what That's... would happen if you scratched the paint? Well, on this, yeah. you'd be mad, wouldn't you? Oh, mate, it'd be devastating because it'd never be as good again, would it? So They'd never be able to make it right, would they? A friend of mine, who shall remain nameless, used to work for MG Rover in the factory building these and uh, they used to have to put all the monogram paint under lock and key in the end because at the weekend the staff were coming in and painting their own stuff what in monogram colours. Golf oh. clubs, guitars, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. So uh, it's a lovely thing though, isn't it? It's just... But yes, you'd be gutted if you uh, if you pranged a the wing. The worst thing you? is when you get that though, you can see the different patches. <laughs> you know what I mean? Can you see it stand here? Yes, yes, I understand. But you know, from when, once you move somewhere else, it's gone. It's gone. There you go. But it is a lovely thing. But nobody would be able to match it, would they? It would be a whole respray, wouldn't it? Good thing though. Now, can we take a look at this? This lovely Mercedes A-Class. Now, these are fast disappearing from our roads, and what an absolutely I've beautiful had bad experiences example. With these. Why, got, what's your bad experience? We've got an engine that's all wrong, wrong way round. But it's like a big smart car, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, that's probably why. It's it's a gorgeous example. The engine's sort of got the alternator underneath and stuff. <laughs> but it does. It certainly does have a smart car esque it look to it. Yeah. This is an absolute credit to the owners. I like that. Now I must come over here because I have seen another Proton. This is a Proton 1. I think it's a 1.3 GE. Let's have a look. Is there a wing mirror here? No, GE. GE. Why do I know that? Well, it was formerly part of the legendary John Coupland collection. Who's that bloke? Oh, I've never seen it before. <laughs> Originally uh, £7,600 on the road, featured on John Coopman and Morses and Motors YouTube channel. I drove all the way to, Car well, I drove this all the way back from Cardiff, uh, of all places. I dropped on the train, it took me six hours to get there. Uh, this belongs to, I think, a chap called Simon. Uh, Philog Garage, there it is. Philog Garage, I made that sticker. <laughs> Great news. Great to see it. It's uh, certainly loved and cherished. And actually, for a base spec car, it's still in lovely At least condition. Some Burke hadn't put a blinking sunroof in it. No. Hey, I tell you what, they haven't put in it either. Oh. An aerial it's blanking total, plate. Total poverty spec. Total poverty spec. Yep. Oh. Cool. I want to show you something. That's what you should do to a proton over the sunroof hole. Uh oh. Crikey. Well, I think that's a good idea. Franken MR2. This uh, has been, well, modified. It's race in, modified. In a way, race modified. But actually, yeah, they've just, what, tack welded a plate over no. the top of it and given it a spray. Oh, riveted it. It's riveted it. That's what we can do to the protons. Um, not sure about that. No. Maybe we won't be doing that, but nice. <laughs> nice to see. caught your eye, hasn't it? Uh, it's certainly not my sort well, of thing. You can take the radio out and put your race switches in. <laughs> I'd rather have the Proton. 
and you've got your fire extinguisher, you've got your rocket launcher switch. Cool. That's the, the torpedoes. Ah, Dad's found a 404 van pickup thing. Let's have a look at the cab in here. What can we see in the load bay? Anything? Oh, alloys. Oh, you can get some stuff in there, couldn't you? Hang on a minute, has that got a thumbs up? Nice. <laughs> yes, I got attracted to this as well. The Larda Neva 4x4 1600. That's a rare beast, isn't it? It is now, yeah. Now, that's a lovely thing. DAF 44. You don't see many of them nowadays. No, you don't. That, to me, should be in the Concours de l'Ordinaire. Belt drive. Ah, yeah. That's just how it works, look. Belt drive, yeah. as you say. It's like, on, it's like on a moped. The faster you go, the pull is changed size ah. to accelerate. Interesting. Here it is, L453 OMM, 1.3 GLS. I'm going to get in and drive it home, I think. Uh, ah, here's Jack, the owner, that I sold it to. He, uh, he stole it from me. There it is. I spent so much time painting this badge back in the day. Ah, oh, Homewood Motors, that's it. Brilliant. That's it, I'm in. I'm on, see you later. <laughs> Cheers, Jack. What I want to do is smell it, because when I owned it, it stank of cigarettes and we used a, mm, what did we use? A Dakota odor bomb, hang on a minute. Gorgeous, beautiful, smells of Malaysia still. Right, that's it. Where's the V5, hand it back over. This is one that I genuinely regret selling. Uh, what, what, what was the story? Well, it came from down uh, south. Somebody contacted me, it was parked in a Debenhams car park and uh, well, I won't tell the current owner how much I paid for it, but I paid a good price for it and uh, he drove it up to me in Lincolnshire. I then drove him back all the way down to Essex uh, in the smart car. Can I have a look under the engine bay? Yeah, there we go. So Jack has been dailying this car for the past three years, really. Oh, look at it. Look at this beautiful stitched, uh, stitched interior here. Ready? Twang, there it goes. Uh, 58,000 miles. Ah, let's have a look under there. As you know, it's got one of the heaviest bonnets in existence, the Proton 1.3. There it is, under there, the Magvert 12 valve uh, ECI multi jet engine. Looking good. And actually, it's got a different top, hasn't it, to yeah. the 1.5 SE. It's got like a black, a black one, yeah. panel top. Probably run out of silver paint in the moment. There it is, see. light brown, the burger paint code. That's it. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to have this back, aren't I? It's got to come back. Get it in the garage, and off she goes back with Jack to Norfolk. Goodbye, 1.3 GLS. Come back to my garage very soon. <laughs> what have you found there? Oh, hang on a minute. It's another Nissan Micra. This. What is that? Super Sport. This. It's got um, the spoiler. Oh, this is a. Oh. Previous Concours entrant. Uh oh. Uh-oh, it is a Super S. Isn't it lovely? Oh dear. Why has it, uh, it got police tape on it? <laughs> Someone is having a joke, I think. Oh. Probably the wiper arm's broken. Isn't it lovely? Dad's uh, checking out sills right yeah, now. Like... What can you see? Isn't it lovely? <laughs> Aha, look who it is. It's only Penelope. There she is. Looking good as ever. Now, where is Mrs. John Coupland when you need her? For a baguette. To, for a baguette, no. I was going to say to do, to, Bentley to do her, tapping her nails and go, Bentley, Bentley, and then we can go, Proton. Uh, but you've mentioned it, so let's have a look at the uh, baguette aerial that's going on here. Um, all right. You, uh, you know what you can get on the radio, don't you? Bread. That's a joke from the 70s for you. This is a cool little thing, the AZ-1. What an awesome little K-car. Mm. It's for sale if you fancy it. No. 25 grand. Get it bought. I found you a head gasket today. Oh, yeah, I did. Uh -uh. <laughs> for sale, Rover 45, pre-project drive, W-Reg, 1.8, 1,500 quid. 
30 something thousand miles. Good car. Yeah? It's going to go on the inside, but uh, what do you get for 1500 quid? Get it bought. Hey, you don't buy a lot these days. No, like exactly. You. Exactly. You don't buy a lot, son. You can't buy a new settee for that. No. 190E interior content. Remember that 190E? <laughs> Shut up about the Mercedes. That's a lot like a Mitsubishi Galant to drive. Yo, can you meet Stella? Hyundai Stella. <laughs> I actually thought it was a pony from the uh, from the front, but that's that's but nice, isn't it? No, a nice original car. Nice car to drive, that is of it. What are you found there now? Ah, nice. Mitsubishi Colt GL. The beigey, pinky, browny um, interior. That's totally I different. If some of the bits from these would fit a proton. Well, let's let's have a look at what would fit. Well, no. Wing mirror. Would I fit. mean the important things like yes. this. Trim would fit. The important things. The mechanical things, when the magic happens. assume so, Should yeah. Just, let's just open the bonnet and start looking. <laughs> Excuse me, can we just uh, yeah, this have, is... a, have a look under the bonnet, <laughs> please? Where the magic happens. Where the magic is. is. Ah, now that's handy to know. Look, if we ever need some rear number plate lights, they're the same as the Colt. Also, door handles. Just gives you another, just gives you another avenue to search, yeah. doesn't it? Ah, things that would fit. Airbox, uh, battery carrier, screen wash reservoir, radiator. Yeah. Here you go, now Dad's having a look. Yes, it is, isn't it? It's exactly the same, isn't it? Just a thought, it's just another avenue of searching for bits if you're struggling for oh. something. So we've got a what, a Magma 8 valve? You got one of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Bring your bolts out. We need one of these. No, yeah. you've got one at home. Excellent. Yeah. Handy to know. I love grey Volvos. Oh, hang on a minute. Hello. It's green. It's green. Do you know what? Year. How are you doing? You okay? Yeah, it's good. Thank you. You, you popped it on Twitter the other day, and actually, I did notice it did look green. So I have to. Um, conclude. Have you had a good day? It's been a very good day. Yes. Good. 49,600. Yeah, it's probably hit 50,000 oh, on the way home. Wow, good stuff. Drive safe. Thank, Thank you very much. much for coming. Oh, nice to see and, you. Uh, yeah, nice to see you too, mate. Yeah. What was your car of the show? Hard to say, actually. Yeah. Um, probably the little Metro and Concourse. The Subaru Justy. Is that what I'm supposed to say? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the Subaru <laughs> no, Justy. That, that was lovely. It was a lovely <laughs> colour. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Good. Have a safe journey home. Thank you. See you again. Take See care. Bye bye. Proton. This is very Proton good. Proton spotted. This is very good, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Look at the uh, look at the mileage on it. Twenty something. Oh dear! Look at that in there. Stunning. Twenty thousand seven hundred and twenty. Interestingly, it has. Uh, a really early steering wheel and it has Iswara bumpers. Oh, I'm with you. It's uh, a... Yeah. Well, it's a carburetor, isn't it? 12 uh, A valve. Uh, no. It's a 1.3. Oh, then yes. Apologies. My apologies. It's a 1.3 with plastic bumpers. <coughs> hmm? 1.3 with plastic bumpers. There you are. It's, it's very good, John. I know. Very good. It's a lovely colour. Why is it not in the concourse? Well, that's a good question. Proton t-shirt spotted. Proton t-shirt. Da -da -da. <laughs> Aha. You found yourself a Honda Jazz. But this is a Mark 1 Honda Jazz with the Moto Compo. <laughs> Amazing. Lovely looking thing, isn't it? Come and have a look at the little motorbike. Oh, right. This is the one that goes in the boot. We were talking about this this morning. There it is. Your little mini motorbike that you get with it. Oh, I think I'll stick to the Triumph. <laughs> ah, Dad's been distracted by Keith's Renault Scenic. This is X Renault uh, histor Historic Fleet car. You call this the Renault Colin? Well, there, used, there used to be an advert on the telly. Mine's called Colin. What's yours called? But probably didn't catch on. But. Hey, look. 
Yes. It's not missing. I've still got one of them in my toolbox to open the boot lid when, this, when that's missing. When that's missing. Yeah. So you've called it a scenic, but it's a began scenic, right? Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. Oh, look at this uh, beautiful coloured Volvo. Nice purple Volvo. And look what it is. It's VEP, belongs to our friend David. Oh, he's the one that's chucking his vital fluids all over, is it? <laughs> you go sign a GL. Now, I think you're going to tell me about this car, that you like it, being a Hillman Avenger in Grasshopper Green. Thumbs up, I thought it would be. He said the dash protected, look. Now, don't blame it. It's been a warm old day, hasn't it? The last thing yeah. you want is a cracked dash. Mine, all the back seats went, but mine was velour. Should that have a vinyl roof? No, I wouldn't have thought so, not on the Not on the estate? No. Prize for the longest badge of the day goes to this, the CX25 TRD Turbo 2. It's about, well, two foot long. Well, there it is then. We've had a good old day having a wander around the Festival of the Unexceptional 2024. Uh, we've done the Concours, we've done all the cars, and now people are starting to dwindle away, kind of. We're waiting for the results of the, uh, the winner of the show. Who is the winner? Um, what do you reckon? Had a good day? It's a brilliant day, but it's tiring. It is a tiring I'm day. absolutely shattered. Um, Probably we, due to the fact that I was up before the sparrows was having breaking wind this morning. Yes, it was a very early morning. Talking about breaking wind. No, it's don't. Been a good day for breaking wind, I believe. <laughs> yeah, you, let's not talk about that. Okay. You, you shocked a member of the public. Uh, well, I think he was dozing off. <laughs> <laughs> we, we can't put that on YouTube. Uh, you've had a good day, though. Yeah. Good, sounds good. I what was your car of the show? Car of the show? Yeah. I've already told you. What? That little thing at the front there, Daihatsu. Oh, the Daihatsu Shirad. Yeah. That was your car of the show. Yeah. Fair enough. Mine was the Subaru Justy, the purple one. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh, although, actually, just leaving, just leaving now, here now look at that. is this Honda Jazz. It, that is lovely. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> That's the one that had the little motorbike in the back. Yep, I love that. You like that. There you go, you can take your little motorbike out. I might uh, have met the motorbike, but... Loads of videos still to come, including then a wand around the concours and a live, live Pistons. Yeah. Pistons, the podcast. I don't know like why I did Little that. cars and big motorbikes. Yeah, there you go. Live Pistons, the podcast. Uh, thanks to everybody who has uh, watched the video. Uh, this was our, what, what would you class it as? Uh, highlights of the day it's been a good day and I think we'll leave it on the fact that we've met lots of nice people you're about to yawn oh, I am, mate. we've met lots of great people and it's been a good time to speak to everybody and see everybody and I'm humbled thank you for everybody that's uh, come up to us and said they love the channel watch the videos and enjoy what we do I think that's where we leave it yeah. till next time have a great day whatever you're getting up to thanks for watching goodbye as ever, thank you for watching this video. Dad and I have selected a couple more videos for you that we think that you might like. They're here now. Just give them a click to watch them. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so. It means a lot to us. Thank you.